Hi everyone, uh, this is the first in a series of videos that I'd like to uh, present to you to show you how to use the Acer U50 document camera. And this is what the camera looks like. And this is something that you can use to project a document on your desk or any kind of picture on your desk onto a screen and to your computer. So this video is just going to show you how to physically connect the device. When you take this out of the box, you will have the unit itself, which looks like this, it has a handy dandy little handle. And then you also have a cord. And this cord has a USB and a mini USB. It's pretty simple. There's no power cord because it uses the power from your device. Now today I'm going to show you how to connect this to your Chromebook. The first thing you will need to do with this is you'll need to take the arm out of its protected place there and open it up and then swivel the arm up. Now this is awfully big, I can't fit this quite into my screen, but this is what it looks like. Now you will see once you open up the arm, there is a tiny USB input right there. That's why you have to swivel the arm up to see it. It took me a second or two to find this. So your first step is to take the mini USB, plug it into the mini USB port, and then with the other end, to connect this to your Chromebook, this is the simply USB plug. You take it and plug it into the USB port on your Chromebook. Any Chromebook will work. And as soon as you do that, you will see that a light pops on, the LED light. Now there's a lot of features on this particular document camera, but one of them is it has an LED light that you can turn on or off. And to turn that off, I'm going to show you the arm here. If you can see, there are a few buttons there, and one of them is for the LED light. If you need the LED light, certainly turn it on, but for most cases you won't. So I'm going to press the LED button to turn off the LED lights. That is all there is to connecting the device to your Chromebook. You will need to download an app, and I will include a link to the app in the notes for this video, and it will be on the documentation that I send out as well. So that's getting your document camera connected to your Chromebook. Future videos, I'll show you how to actually use the program in practice. Thanks.